So we had an unexpected rain last night. We're going to go check on the birds. The American Breast, the second group of the green fire, their fence got came down. And so all of the chickens are I thin here kind of nervous about coming out. So I guess I'll straighten that out. But before I try to touch that fence. Watch out. <laughs> no, we got a dead bird. This one probably got all scared last night. She didn't probably go in. Now I gotta go check to see if any other one. This is one of the new naked necks. Check on the rest of the flock. We got another chick kiss in here. Not you, girl. Come out the way. She's not doing too good, it looks like. Hey, you stop picking on her. She's another naked neck. What's wrong with you, girl? You all right? And put her in the hospitality suite. Let's check on these guys. All right, everybody looks good. I'm surprised. These almost as bad as turkeys. I just need y'all to stay alive for three more weeks. So we wind up putting this neck and neck into this uh, hospitality uh, coop. Gave it some of the uh, Redmond uh, electrolyte water to kind of relieve some of the uh, stress from her. Gave her some food. She was pecking some food, but I believe it's uh, Merrick's. It probably was the stress from the uh, heat and whatnot. Now that all the animals is taken care of, now we got to look at this garden. We we did and took a lot of stuff for transitioning in from the uh, summer garden into the fall garden uh, with this rain is much needed so let's check to see whoa what's going on here oh man it's flooded real or rain good all through here all right i got some new growth right here i'm not sure what this was from oh <laughs> So this is from that walking onion right there. It had one of the sprigs uh, fall right here. So <laughs> look at that. And probably less than three days. What was it? Oh, probably about a week, a week worth of growth. This is what happened. So I'm actually going to transplant this somewhere. Don't know exactly where. Oh, I know exactly where over these uh, squash beds. So here we have a squash bed. And I'm going to actually put it right around here. That should do. Oh, we got some more onions right here. I guess after clearing this out more onions is coming up that i planted early early this year it was actually like these sets and then i had some other squash in here and it basically overshadowed this and shaded it out got some zucchini right there oh here we go cozo cocozel there we go so I love me some zucchini, so I'm happy about that. That one doesn't look like it's doing too well. So we had this shade cloth, and we tried to protect it as much as we could, but it wind up with the wind, high winds, just damaging that. We had the tennis ball right up there to kind of protect it, because we knew it, this was gonna eventually happen. However, it um, still happened, so we're gonna leave this up because it's still providing some shade. Um, for the uh, vegetables that we have growing out here for our fall garden. Here I transplanted the lemongrass. It was in the artichoke bed. And so I planted it here. We got some leeks there. 
Now, from what I've been looking at on some of the research is you can actually leave leeks in the ground and uh, if you're not ready to harvest them, then you can just wait till it's time to harvest them and you can pull those up. So I'm happy about that. However, I think I'm still going to pull those up, have Mrs. Naked Gardener um, slice those up and put them in the freezer. So that way later on we can do some potato leek soup or something like that. What job were you assigning me? Like I walk up and I hear you, I'm going to have Miss Naked Gardener what? Yeah. You're going to have me what? Make some potato, uh, slice those leeks up. Maybe I'll have you slice them. Maybe you won't. This is a walkway that we have in between the beds and the arches. And it's just saturated. At my job site, they got some new appliances and whatnot. And I took those boxes since they were about to throw them away. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay them out in between some of the walkways and just as we go just start uh, putting some mulch down there to kind of to suppress uh, some of the weeds so we'll be doing that throughout the week I got about purchased about 10 bags of mulch just to see how much a bag would do for one of the containers so now we got a free bed that we can we need to fluff up and here with the mulch we're gonna put some mulch through here and also in between there i'm gonna pull up that uh, chive right there and transplant it somewhere else I want as much spinach as I can get. It was bound to happen Cause your heart is caving in So why you bother? What you got there? I have a fruit harvester for trees. Uh-huh. I need to harvest some of my pears for that caramel sauce that goes good with meat. Um, that's what I want to do with most of the pears. I have a few more stems to make it longer, but I'm going to see how I do with it at this length. Because I feel like the longer it is, the harder it is to control it. That's what she said. It's going to be funny because I'm going to be fighting the chickens over whatever falls. They're going to try and get anything. And the trick is to get it in there, and there's hooks at the end, and just pulling them off, catching it in the basket like that. So I capture the fruit here, and try to hook it, and then make it fall like right into this basket. The problem with that is, is that sometimes when I get up there and there's a bunch, I get eager to get a lot at the same time, and then they just go everywhere. It's better to just get one at a time. So the good thing about having chickens... Nothing goes to waste. Yeah. Fuck it. The hand-eye coordination is not with this one. <laughs> So it's the next day. We got a lot of stuff done. 
well not really a lot of stuff done but we got some stuff done uh what we have left to do is um uh, it got late we had to go run to the store to get some stuff to uh add and fix on the uh, chicken tractors so now we're going to lay out this mulch here spread it all out and hopefully that will keep and suppress the weeds this is how it's going to look off of four bags and what that is going to help do is now that we're probably going to be getting into the rainy season help uh decrease the, the chance of all that getting compacted and uh, muddy and stuff so it'll be easier to walk through there so that way if we get any air pollination uh, with the uh, from seeds up in the air going into the beds and in between the rows of the beds It'll be a lot easier to pluck and weed uh, in between the rows. So All in all, it's gonna be a slow transition going into the fall season. We still got a lot of seeds that uh, we just started and gonna still be starting and gonna be transplanting So I hope you like this video. If so, make sure you give us a thumbs up until the next video. Let's grow together